Hi, my name is Claudia Machado. Um, I am um, a clinical nurse. I have six, more or less, uh, over six years of experience. Um, I am already uh, a trained, uh, qualified nurse, and um, my background is critical care. I work in different uh, NHS hospitals, uh, delivering um, high specialized care to critical patients. Um, I joined IH Vivo essentially after COVID uh, pandemic uh, 2021. And so far it's been an enjoyable experience. Uh, I've been working as a clinical research nurse and my role is essentially um, making sure that studies are delivered uh, as per protocol. So ensuring shift coordination and also training uh, staff um, on during um, the shifts, um, making sure that everyone is supported and uh, we getting the great results from each uh, study we delivered. Ensuring safety and accuracy um, in every single study is something that I really enjoy. Um, making sure that all staff is really supported on site. Um, ensure as well that everyone um, is capable uh, to conduct their assessments. Um, so this is something that I, I really enjoy and um, as well learn about different um, viruses and how they behave in the human beings. Uh, so this is um, been very, very um, interesting since I started. Uh, flu camp has been I'm being focused mostly in learning about respiratory viruses um, along um, with different ranges of, of treatments, uh, which actually complement a lot with my previous experience in ITU. I see essentially mostly sick patients um, and the, the focus is more into treatment rather than prevention or um, finding the causes or the treatment uh, for, for um, different conditions. Uh, so my focus here is ensuring uh, safety, uh, data, um, data quality, and um, yeah, supporting, uh, supporting uh, staff um, in, you know, in delivering uh, the studies. In terms of challenges, I would say um, staff staff levels is been a great a great challenge. Um, we pretty much we pretty much manage as a shift coordinator. We manage our shifts uh, according with the staff levels. That means that if we don't have enough staff levels, we have to still make the shift going and uh, make appropriate decisions. Decision making is really, really important, um, especially when the time is crucial for study delivery. Um, sometimes uh, the, the window of assessments are very tight and in any circumstances, if that window of assessment is not respected, um, it will lead to study protocol deviations and many other problems. So my focus is essentially making sure that the studies are delivering, um, you know, according to the study protocol and to avoid any protocol deviations, making sure that the data is accurate, is clear, and it will, you know, be, um, be able to be processed later on by our H data team that has been doing a wonderful, a wonderful work. Um, and um, yeah, it's been 
very, very uh, important to all of us. Joining FluCamp is a great opportunity uh, not only to learn about um, experimental or clinical trial studies um, based on human uh, challenge model, but also is a great opportunity for you to understand more um, about how viruses behave um, and having your own experience um, about how you felt the virus behaving in your own um, body. At the same time, you will support community and also science um, development and potentially uh, contributing for new, um, new findings about viruses and also discovering of new treatments. So the residential stays can uh, can last up to one week to 14 days, more or less. Um, my advice is for them to, you know, bring in, uh, bring a, a book. Um, we offer uh, other activities such as some books, some, you know, uh, where the subjects can really um, try to occupy their time. But, you know, by being here, um, they can do pretty much working um, even on our facilities because we're providing them internet, we're providing them access to Netflix and enjoyable, like, you know, enjoyable time while they are contributing to science, um, you know, development. So pretty much good. And also now we have... Um, a new kitchen, so new meals, new ready meals, and um, for them to enjoy. Uh, what I would do was essential, is essentially organizing my emails, organizing my work calendar, um, reading um, one or two books, um, and yeah, pretty much is what I would do, um, essentially reorganizing myself and, um, and potentially working, working from my computer.